Hello and welcome to another episode of Paul Plays Infinifactory. So, this episode is going to be um, Docking Clamp, which is still in Production Zone 1 of the Resistance Campaign. So, this is our target. So it looks like, I don't know, football, American football goalposts, perhaps, with U's. And it's called a docking clamp. And what do we get? We don't get a cube this time. We just get a single sheet of this extruded metal. So the sheet's five high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. It's going to need five slithers each this way. One, two, three, four, five. So one of the slithers, this middle one, is like this Y shape on a base. The two end ones are a U's with three highs, and these ones are just a single bar. Now, if you look at this, if I cut there, I'll have enough room to get the bars out of the same sheet as I cut the U's from. So the plan is to make three, cut three sheets. Out of one of them, get this Y shape. Out of the other two sheets, get a U and a and a and a horizontal bar, and then get it all welded together. So let's get on with that. Um, so the first set of cutters are going to go there. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Another set of cutters there. One, two, three, four, five. Another cutters there. One, two, three, four, five. And that will be the end. That'll be three sheets of five with the cuts taken care of in them. And one, two, one, two, three, four. Um, what am I looking for here? I am looking for a sensor. Yes. Put that there. And that's so that should that should detect the end. So let's get these um uh, lasers in. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, let's get these, uh, let's get some conduit in. I think these levels, I mean, of all of them are fascinating in that, like, when you look at some of the scores people can achieve on them, they are crazy. So I think when I'm finished the game, I will come back and have a look, um, and see what can be done with, with these levels. But for, for, for this first playthrough, I just want to get through them once and get a solution done that would that'll do me so this one here is going to be the large y shape and then these two are going to be the u's with the extra bar so technically from here on down i don't need the i can just eviscerate that and then obviously i don't need a cutter there either that'll be that'll have been cut already so i'm going to give and then i'm just going to knock them all forward one once they've been cut just to make sure we'll see what we have see how that looks so i'm going to fast forward that so that's looking pretty good so i'm going to cut the use out of these the use and then cut the big one so i'm going to get on with that straight away and get this done. So to cut a U out of this one, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to just going to position these uh, welders in space. That's not going to do anything there, 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 and there. So I like the look of that. That's going to leave that U. Um, this bar's already been cut above its head. Same again here. I should cut out the section of that U. Um, and then this one. So the first row is complete. There's nothing cut out of it. So then this row 
everything's gone. But the first piece. And then... So it's the first piece, that's that, and then... So that's that shape. It's a flap, and then it's this, it's this uh, Y or goalposts or whatever we want to call it, chalice. Okay, so then let's just get some of these conduit um, done up. And with a bit of luck, that will give me my um, all the pieces that are needed for this. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot wrong with that. And this falls in here. So let us, without further ado, um, get these ones dealt with so so what I'm going to do here is um, as they drop down it'll push forward and then we can get a weld on them here like that um and like that now the important thing is to see really i'm going to need to get everything clear before the next one gets in so i need to make sure that is actually happening so that's been welded like that This one's in the middle, and this one's been welded like that too. So we're, we're, we're getting there. Um, so what I'd like to do is just, just make sure that this actually gets by. So I'm going to unpause it. Yes, it's well clear. By the time the next one gets in, this is going to be well clear. So what I'm going to do now is fix it together. So I'm, if I was to push them all this way, they're in the right order, bum bum bum, and get a quick welder in. However, this is the wrong way around now, isn't it, for to be the end one. Yeah, they're both the same way round, and one of them needs... So what I'd like to do is weld the first piece, which I believe comes out of here, the other way round. So I'd like to get... Let's be clear on this. I'd like to get the thin bar down first. So let's have a look at doing that. So if I was to push the thin bar, remember this has been grounded, grinded, ground, ground out um, there. And then if this one didn't move forward so it waits here so this the bottom the the u sits here this gets pushed forward when it lands here i'd need to put the welders back one wouldn't i and then hopefully that pulls it forward so let's see if that works yes Okay, so I'm now gonna um, get these into their final welding positions, which shouldn't be too big a deal. Something like that. Let's just see how they arrive. I just want to get, get a line up then because I'm going to put some welders in along here um, to weld them as they get here. So, 
Lovely. Lovely. So the welder went beside this, so it's above this square and to the left of it. Let's have a look at that. I'm fast forwarding again. So this should weld this one. And this should weld that one and push it out. So that looks like the shape that we're looking for. Um, wrong button. Run it in. A bit like that. So, um, hopefully, hopefully it likes that shape. I don't see anything wrong with it. It does indeed. And all it's got to do is keep welding. Yes. Okay, and that's well on the way to being solved. So a quick look at it again. Um... Just using the eviscerator here to, to cut cut this, save having to do many, many lasers. Um, reorder it slightly. Simple weld here at the end, and in. So hopefully that's it for this level. Um, all this puzzle, four left, just fast forwarded. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please do uh, click that thumbs up like button on the video. And if you think about it, I'd love if you could subscribe to the channel. It's only new. Um, and if you have any comments, love to hear from you. So, um, thanks again for watching. And we'll just watch this um, finish out with the last one. There we go. Thanks again. Bye now.